Okay, for today's video, we're going to do a new series on the channel. Um, this is going to be Dino Drawings of the Month. Um, this is a series that I don't know if, how often, if I'm really going to do it once a month. Um, but that's what the original plan is. I might end up changing it to less frequent or more frequent, depending on how it does. But um, I plan on mainly just showing off most of my dinosaur drawings. Uh, and they're not all dinosaur drawings. I want to get that out of the way. They're all prehistoric animals, but I think dino drawings just sounds better, or dinosaur drawings just sounds better than prehistoric animal drawings. So that's the reason why that's going to be the title of it. Um, and some of these are going to be, like, more accurate than others. Like, some some of these I just draw, like, um, at places where I don't really, like, I can't really, like, get on my phone, so I can't really, like, look up to make sure, like, I'm drawing, like, the right distance of the arms and the legs or I'm not really basing it off fossils to be as accurate as possible and I'll kind of mention that if I made this one like intentionally super accurate and the first ones I'm going to go over all of these are ones I did at my church um, they give us these little like card things um, at every service so I usually end up just drawing on a few of them so we're just going to get into the first one the first one's actually not a dinosaur and it's actually before the dinosaurs and it is um, Dimetrodon um, it's just a Dimetrodon in a swamp uh, I almost went with like a like a dairy cow type color, like those like a white with just the black spots. And also the ones I draw um, on the church cards, I've just never colored, so I just didn't figure there was any point in it. Um, but I actually did really like this drawing. Um, I drew three on this deck, and one reason why I also um, I also had drawn some other stuff this month before these but these were the first ones that i decided i actually want to make this a series so i actually remembered to date these ones because i have a ton of drawings from over the year or so that i just never dated but these ones i did date so actually but there were some other ones in the month of august that i drew but i just forgot to date them so this um dimetrodon was on 8 21 22 um this was actually the day i ended up ordering the albertosaurus utyranus chiansusaurus um Albertosaurus, Chansusaurus, Utyranus, Nanotyranus, and um, Dinochirus set. Um, so I actually ended up, I can't remember if I drew these, but I think it was, it was either, I either made that order right, or I made that order either before I drew these, like late that night or later that night. So I also drew this Utyranus. This was the first dinosaur I've drawn in the snow. Um, I really like this drawing. I kind of messed up at first on the tail where I made it too short, so then I ended up extending it and decided to just make the spot where I kind of messed up on just like a pattern, and I thought it actually made the, it look really cool, because you can see this is kind of based on the Safari Limited one, if you remove the stripes, um, where it's got the darker head and the almost white fur, or not fur, feathers that almost act as fur, but I ended up giving it these cool stripes, all, actually because I messed up on a part, but I think it ended up making it look really cool. Um, I did kind of mess up on the tree though, um, I wish, so I made it like a pine looking tree. I'm not for sure what trees would have actually been where you Tyrannus live, but I, where I had it snowing, I just thought, usually when I think of snow and pine trees, I go with, um, or snow, I think of pine trees. So I put like some snow on like the trees, um, and that's what all the little white stuff is falling from the sky. That's like snow. Um, but that's what is actually on the tree. But I wish I would have done it more on these like inside branches too, instead of just the outside ones. But I do really like the Utyranus on this one. I actually prefer that to the Dimetrodon. I also drew this Woolly Mammoth. At first, this was one of those full big cards. But I, I, I kind of ran out of time. So I ended up just pulling it off to just this part. Because I drew some female mammoths too. But the female ones just, they didn't look near as good. So I decided to just make this one one small bull mammoth. Um, and that was probably my least favorite of the three drawings that day. The Dimetrodon was probably my second favorite, but the Utyranus one was probably my first favorite. And that was my first time drawing dinosaurs in the snow. So, um, actually did really like that. I'll get the, at the end of this video, um, I'll get the Safari Limited Utyranus and just kind of like show it off compared to the drawing just to show some of the differences. And then the next week we went, I got two more cards to draw on. And the first one I drew was a Diplodocus. Um, when I drew this one, I was actually debating on ordering a Carnegie, the old Diplodocus. Not the older, older one, but the more recent one. But since it's Carnegie line, I say older. Uh, ended up not ordering that one, though, just because uh, the one that was listed, it was a good price, but it had a few marks on it that just were really bad, and I decided not to get it. So, um, yeah, I really do like this Diplodocus, though. Um, 
instead of going, I went almost like an in between what some artists have done with Diplodocus. Instead of doing like just um, the spikes being outward, I went with the spikes with almost like a little like sail lining in between them, um, almost like what some artists have for a Margosaurus. But I do really like this artwork. But then I decided to, after my drawing of the Nano, or after my drawing of Utyrannus, I decided I wanted to draw another dinosaur in the snow. So I ended up going with Nanuxaurus. And this is what I was kind of mentioning about the trees. So in this tree, um, there's only snow on the um, like outer branches. But on this one, I actually remembered to put snow on the inner branches too. I really love this one. I think this might have been my favorite drawing I did the whole time. You can see it really looks really fluffy like what Nano or na what Nanuxaurus would really look like. Um, and I have it eating some sort of hadrosaur. This is the hadrosaur that has been called Edmontosaurus at points, but um, it's also been called other stuff. And I don't really have a set opinion on what I think it would be, but it is whatever the dinosaur that some have called Edmontosaurus is. But some say it's not Edmontosaurus, so I know that's a little confusing, but that's, it is kind of confusing, honestly. Um, and then for the last dinosaur, it is actually the, um, this is actually one you all actually probably seen on the channel if you saw that Albertosaurus review. And it's just this drawing of um, the Safari Limited Albertosaurus. It's not an exact, like, copy of the dinosaur. Um, and I'll put a link to that video in the description, but where I kind of went over the picture more in depth. But that's what it's based off of but it's not like a exact copy. It's mainly the color based, just mainly an Albertosaurus I drew with just the Safari Limited color base. Um, but yeah, we'll go get that Utyrannus to show off compared to my drawing so I can kind of, I want to explain it a little bit more since I really did like that drawing. But I, this is probably my favorite drawing I did of the week. And I'll try to remember to do this too. I'm going to go over my favorite drawing I did each week. And my favorite of this week was the Nanoxaurus. Okay, so here we have the Safari Limited Utyrannus compared to my drawing of Utyrannus. Um, the proportions are a little different, and that's just mainly because, you know, this was like a time I couldn't really get on my phone when I drew it. So the legs um, on mine are honestly should have had more of a knee bend, but not horrible other than that. Um, I made my skull a little broader, I guess, but I made the crest a little bit more exaggerated too, so I think that's mainly what that is. And then, other than that, the only mega difference, other than the, the stripe pattern, which I already mentioned, is that I made the tail um, less long but more stocky, which is probably less accurate. Uh, but overall, that's the main difference. So, I really do enjoy these drawing dinosaurs. Uh, and I think the more I draw, the better I'll get. Like, for instance, I mean, literally, from the Utyrannus to the Nanoxaurus, I think I improved a good bit. Uh, even just off the snow on the trees and stuff. Simple details like that, which make it look a lot better. Um, so, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, depending on how this series does, I don't know. We might do more dinosaur drawings or less, or less frequent. Um, just depending on how this does. I don't have a clue how y'all will enjoy this, but I would love to know because I don't really know how often this is. If this, I, I'm, the original go around, I plan on it being once a month. But, you know, if y'all really, really enjoy it, then maybe we'll increase it to like once a week. But if y'all really don't enjoy it, then we'll drop it to like maybe not at all or maybe like um, once a year or once every half a year. I don't know. Just depending on how this video does, we'll see how often this is going to come around. So, And I, I did kind of mention this in that Alberta Source video I put in the description. I don't think I'm a great artist, but I don't think I'm a horrible artist either. But I do think I can improve more, a lot more. But... I don't think I'm that bad, so that's, I do feel confident enough to show my artwork on YouTube, but I don't feel, I have, I'm clearly not super confident because I was so hesitant to include drawings in videos in general, but yeah, once again, thank you all so much for watching, and you all will kind of dictate how much this series gets uploaded.